hello everyone and welcome back to the channel that is Deb Chanel's 48th world and we talk about and do videos on celebrity news okay as you can see Atlanta black <coughs> Atlanta black star brought out to us an interesting article that they did on Miss Halle Berry okay and I found, I found it very interesting I was like what she going around here kicking folks butt and telling people to kiss her ass what I cannot believe that I could not believe she would get out of character and do such a thing. But apparently she did. Because according to Atlanta Black Star and Angelina Vasquez wrote an article up on her titling, titling it Kiss My Black ASS. Halle Berry had a fury response after X-Men United director lashed out during a stage drug intervention. Yeah, and I said, why? <laughs> because if they don't want nobody telling them, they don't want no advice, send them to the better for a clinic, honey. Send them to rehab. Well, just stay out of their business pretty much. But Hallie was doing her humanitarian thing because evidently she had family members or friends that um, had suffered from the same type of addiction or something similar and she was pretty much letting the director know she was there for him okay in spirit in body and soul and she would help him as that's what I was gathering from this article that was put out by Atlanta Black Star okay yeah Holly she wouldn't do anything to hurt nobody and for her to come out of character I had to pause, I had to reflect, and I had to read the story, the article that was written up on her on why she told this person to kiss her black ass. Okay, I, I was just interested. Okay, curiosity killed the cat. I had to go in deeper and find some meat and potatoes on this story. So, we ain't gonna hesitate. We're gonna go on right on into the article that the lady wrote up on Miss Halle Berry, and we can get some understanding of some clarity of why and when and um what happened what was the result of her storming out after she had told the man to kiss her black ass okay it says Halle Berry intensity on screen as storm and the x-men films was just as fury on set at least on one occasion says the former co-star alan cummings who starred in X2 X-Men United alongside Barry claims the actress had a single memorable outburst during the audacious process of filming the 2003 box office hit. Okay, I believe that picture of her was so pretty. She was um, in James Bond movie or something like that. But let the record show, as Claire Huxley was said on the Cosby show, Hallie was pissed. She was trying to help you, but since you closed the door on that help, she told you to kiss her ass. And I think that was the one she played um, in the Flintstones uh, as a secretary or something. She's played in so many different movies. And I was just, <laughs> it was just non-boggling that she won her Oscar for Monster Ball. Now, if y'all don't know what Monster Ball movie was about, please go look at it. Most degrading type of uh, uh, movie she could have played that won her oscar same as denzel washington he made a plethora of very good humanitarian humanitarian type films that he could have won off of but they gave it to him for training day <laughs> go figure i don't know but they won it and they got it and it just is what it is okay but going back to the article it said um cummings claims the incident unfolded while the cast attempted to persuade the film's director Brian Singer to acknowledge his shortcomings in handling the production and safety concerns of the cast. Cummings claims Barry and other became concerned and suspected prescription prescription drugs may be at play when Singer would disappear from set for hours. Okay. Now my thing is maybe you just needed a, a longer lunch or something to that effect. But in Hollywood, Hollywood, they get down on a lot of illicit type illegal drugs to keep them at bay okay or keep them in tune with what they're trying to do for a living so it's almost like they're functioning addicts allegedly but anyway going back to the article it said uh, um singer would disappear from set for hours causing delays in filming and as a last ditch effort to help the producer and singer the cast staged her intervention for this gentleman okay didn't work out real well because we're going to keep reading and you're going to see why 
Barry, who has experience in dealing with loved ones who dealt with addictions, attempted to appeal to Singer with compassion and her plea for him to get help. She spoke movingly of, a, of people she'd known with drug addictions, wrote Cummings in his book, Baggage, Takes from a Fully Packed Life, where the ordeal is recollected. He claims Barry Compassion, along with other castmates who spoke up, was met with a crass response and claims that the actors were full of effing shit. It was then that Barry alleged told Singer, I've heard enough. You can kiss my black ass and stormed off. Okay. Barry told her to kiss his, her batuti. Okay. Forget him. All right. And that's where she went with it. And she wasn't playing no games because she walked off set after she said that. Okay. The former Bond girl has never spoken publicly about the alleged outburst. However, in 2020, Barry reflected on her experience in working with the, working with the since disgrace director. Brian's not the easiest dude to work with. She told Variety, I mean, everybody heard the stories. I don't have to repeat them and heard of his challenges, struggles with addiction to painkillers and what he struggles with. The actress who has been in front of the camera for three decades, many over 30 years, is taking on double duty with her latest film, Bruised, as both the star and director, despite being told to cautiously step into the role as director, Barry has said it was important for her to truly find out what she is made of by taking on a new challenge. What I've learned along the way is that it's effing hard, said the Oscar winner during Elle's 27th annual Women in Hollywood celebration. So basically, Hollywood was saying, F you. If you don't want to get no help, dude, then F you. Okay, it's your life. It's not mine. I was waiting in the winds to try to help you. I've dealt with people before, personally, in my family, friends, colleagues, and I see the symptoms and I know the signs. But if you ain't going to confess what's up with you and, and go to some AA meetings or whatnot, then after you then. You don't care, I don't care. Tiff, tack, whatever. And that was all of that story, y'all. So it was kind of pretty much to the point. You don't want to piss Hallie off. And especially if she coming from a genuine place that she want to help you. And you try to throw her to the wolves or throw salt on her name or dismiss her when she's having a caring moment for you. Alrighty. <laughs> you don't want to face her wrath because she going to tell you off and then storm out. And then you're going to have to find a replacement for her because she feel like she cannot do any work with you. She cannot work alongside you because y'all are not kindred spirits. Y'all are not in the same headspace. And she likes to work with professionals. So pretty much she was saying F him when he was telling them to F. No, she's telling him to F him while he was telling them to F him. So it's like what kind of mess is this? Everybody else up? Okay, I don't know, but that was the story that a lot of black star covered on Miss Halle Berry and her getting upset and telling somebody to f off. Okay, so that's all I have for that video. If you like it, love it, gotta have more. Don't hesitate to share, share, share my videos. That is caring, and I appreciate you very much when you do that and like my videos. And if you're so inclined to want to subscribe, please do so at the time and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload and I release videos. So you can be the first to comment or the first one to see the video, okay? But I will see y'all next video at another time. Bye-bye.